This is it, match 18, the last of the ball matches, but in reality, it'll feel like the first of the knockout games for those women. Release! Croissant. Croissant and Fulani are really no. a formidable second row partnership, both in the set piece and also in the loose, as is that lady in the eye. No, 14. Izzard, coming off the wing, looking for work, Amade. Amade, little show and go, brought down by Naupu, but France building up ahead of steam here. There's the open side flanker. I highlighted her at the beginning. She highlights herself within seven minutes of this match. Roman Manager is on the board. She's having quite a World Cup, isn't she, Manager? Four tries already. And now you're off your feet. Opportunity beckoning for France. Mayons. No way through for Corsant. Now they look to this right flank again. It is Mayons coming round. It's quick presentation and it's a quick try. And it's Caroline Lannanews scored a hat trick in the opening game against Japan. She's on the score sheet once again. 13 minutes gone. France 12 points to the good. When the ball finally comes out, there just aren't enough numbers at home for Ireland. And that time it's drawn to Lannanews over the line, very well worked from France. Good tackling from Jenny Murphy again, but she can't stop this French movement, this French swell in their attack. They seem to be able to get through the held. gears so quickly. Namadei stepping in as playmaker Poublon releases Pell. Up they go into the Irish 22. Forwards coming in on the angle, led by Dai. Releases there now for the back line. And Dai changes direction, gets the offload in to Julie Deval. Stop just short, but the follow-up is good. It's that lady, Caroline Ladanius, her second. France is third. And France really playing Jouet Jouet at any given opportunity. Moving it from one side to the other, that little offload, that deft offload from Poublin to Pell. Then Ndi decides not to release, waits, pulls in the defence, gets the offload away. Desperate scrambling to get one score on the board before this match is over. Last Quick feed out to Miller. No way through, ball is there. Oh, and the final try scoring pass doesn't find Katie Fitzhenry. And that really is Ireland's game in the space of two seconds. Knock on. Well, a French line out that doesn't go to plan is going to be the last set piece. The crowd screaming for those girls in green to just get the next two metres to finish things off. And they do. Well, it's a token score, but there's elation in the faces of the Irish fans in the stands. Cleena Maloney is the one who's broken that duck. It's too little, far too little, far too late for Ireland, but it's some consolation. I'm not sure I've ever seen a team camped on a try line for an entire half the way that Ireland have been camped on the French try line this half. France, 
who have a semi-final spot once again in the Women's Rugby World Cup. Full-time score, reach France 21, Ireland 5. Oui, on a fait une grosse séquence défensive sur notre ligne, on les a empêchés de, de marquer, même si on prend un essai sur la dernière action, et ça fait euh, qu'on peut passer en demi-finale. Ouais. Credit to France, uh, they ran around us in the first half, we let them in too easily, and then we just had too much of a margin to climb, and then the defence held to the very last minute. I'm very proud of the girls for getting the try, and just the support out there was amazing. You know, they really were the 16th player, really driving us on, as we were camped out in the French 22. Um, So yeah, disappointing, but we'll have to rebuild from that and take credit to the girls who came on. Again, the bench was very strong and I'm just delighted that we got the try at the end.